Okay, so let us implement the three step RK method now. So to do that, I'll just copy this and paste it again. So this is the method which we are going to implement. Uh, so in this case, as you see, there are three steps here and this is a, a special RK method that which is also known as uh, stability preserving Runge-Kutta method. Now this coefficients which you see might be different from which you see otherwise in the uh, other RK methods. As a matter of fact, this coefficients, there are, uh, there are a lot of ways in defining this coefficients and this particular coefficients which are defined here are known to be uh, uh, preserving the stability uh, and uh, it's also known as the uh, TVD or total variation diminishing method so you can look at look up these details in any of the uh, papers which talk about uh, higher order methods so I'll not be discussing about this in detail but uh, you can you can look up how these coefficients are defined and all uh, in in those papers which are available. So let me implement this method now. So case three. All right, looks like uh, the implementation of uh, the three step RK method is done. Uh, it is, uh, it was pretty straightforward because we used our previous code and just added one extra case for that additional step. Okay, so let us now test our method. Well, it, it seems like it's, it's working fine. However, we still cannot tell whether uh, there is any improvement in accuracy or whether the implementation is perfectly right. For doing that, we have to first implement the, uh, the uh, higher order reconstructions in space, which we will be doing in the, in the next video. So, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.